Tennessee Open in morning. So I completed my first Grand Slam with Gordon. You guys met him last year on the Turkey Tour in Wyoming. We're back here now with his friend Isaac. Isaac has never shot a turkey before, so we're hoping this morning we're going to be able to get him his first bird. It's pretty exciting. There's nothing better than seeing somebody shoot their first bird. How pumped are you? I'm, I'm excited. I'm really excited. But rock and roll. Let's Looking do forward. it, guys. It's only 29 degrees outside, which is not normal for Tennessee. <laughs> That little stubby bearded turkey come in here like he was mean and just destroyed this poor decoy. And then what does young Isaac do? Shoots beside him or body shot or whatever. So Isaac sent two parting shots at him as he was flying off. So they're looking for him. What he doesn't know is I already found it. So we're gonna walk our boy up there. Good tip for people. If you send shells to the turkey, spend some time looking. Cause odds are if you put some shot in them, they're probably gonna not fare well. So they're hard to find. but. It's worth looking. Zach told him, he said, what he does with all first timers is if they miss, they gotta jump in the river. I should have brought some swimming across with me, so. Well, those will probably do, I guess, don't you reckon, Zach? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Let's go for one last look, look through, because you never know. <laughs> hey, Gordon. Congrats, buddy. Thank you. That's all right. Yeah. <laughs> that's pretty yeah, cool. That's cool. That is pretty cool. Hey, look he at... was the boss. We called him he the was. beardless boss oh, pretty yeah. much because he had some nice spurs on him. Yeah. You are a lucky little yeah. bugger today. Yeah. No freezing cold swim. Nope, no swimming. I'm thinking, why didn't, I didn't come prepared for a swim today. So. <laughs> you know, I was kind of worried about him. I looked over there about the time that gobbler was whipping up on that Jake or the decoy, and I seen his gun barrel over there, and it was going. <laughs> Just sitting there, like taking the, yeah. taking a trip around the world, you know. So I was wondering if that old turkey fever was going to get you or not. Good little hunt. Time to visit Wilson's Wildlife Artistry. Gordon wants to get one mounted, so I hear this is the place to do it. Well, that was the first turkey I was ever going to get mounted, and I had some people recommend me uh, to this guy. But anyways, make a long story short, I didn't really review their work very much. I just took the guy's word for it and took him the turkey, 
and I was going at closing time kind of, and so I just dropped the turkey off, didn't even go in his shop or anything. You can tell the difference, and we want to show you the difference in artistry and just a, a regular, dude in his mom's basement. yeah, a dude in his basement kind of deal. So, and it's you know first turkey. So, so we, <laughs> Gordon's brought this one to Levi and said, please fix it. So they're gonna do their work on this one and try to make it right again. The point is, if you have a once in a lifetime turkey and you're gonna spend the money to get it mounted, do your research and take it to somewhere good. You can send it to these guys. You can ship it to you. And shipping to us is easy as calling us and getting our address. Look at that. Look at this. Look at that. Look at this. That one looks like he's alive when you're about to shoot him. This one looks like he's been hanging in the garage for 20 years. Yeah. And your cat ch charged him, messed him up. <laughs> Wilson's boys are gonna fix this one for Gordon, and then uh, I'm gonna try to shoot one and get him mounted just like that. Actually, that one I killed in Montana last year would've been perfect like this, because I shot him just like that. Anyway, if you kill a big old turkey, call Wilson's. Don't make it look like this, not like this. These are clearly our kind of people. I feel like this was like set up because they knew that we were driving past them. I particularly like the one that says a Tom lives here with its hen and the very last one, Pekka Rekka. It's like we're doing the Tennessee tour. We're at John Langston's place, the famous Azora Farms. I think we're by ourselves too, so we can probably do about whatever we want right now. But I think he's coming a little bit and he might be mad if I kill three turkeys before he gets here. We might get him. Couldn't even kill one today. Hello. Hey, just trying to tidy up a little bit before Langston gets here. Don't want him to think we're like nomads or anything. Oh wait. <laughs> Messy nomads. What do you think, Forrest? We're staying at Resort Farms tonight. We've parked the RV next to an abandoned house. And John tells us that he thinks it's haunted and that there's an Indian burial ground right here. And he said something about a mental institute down the road, so I don't know what to believe anymore. But doors are locked tonight. We're leaving Cody's unlocked. That way, at least he goes down first. job this morning of making turkeys gobble. We haven't done a great job of making them die yet. Didn't look like you were shooting. I was about to stand up and shoot, actually. A little slow on the trigger. I told you I have to film all week. That was such a jack wagon move. Kill the turkey. Thank you. <laughs> oh my god. I literally, I'd like literally like swing it around this tree. Stand up and shoot the bird one seriously. I took the gun out of Mary's hand and shot one. That's my bad. I'm glad John shot one though. Good work, guys. That was. Cowboy. Look at these birds, boy. Look how muddy his legs are. Awesome. Yeah. They've been walking through some mud. These are some pretty birds. That's a pretty ass bird, too. What a point. That's a stand, too. Awesome. There was probably. Oh, what do I mean? Six, 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 six or six, seven? Six, seven. Yeah. Six or seven long beards in that field shut and finally worked into the timber. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. Yeah. Azora Farms, we've come, we've slept, we've walked, we've conquered. Next up, Adam Sanders and Drew Baldridge coming at ya. More Tennessee turkeys on the books. Season two of the Country Outdoors Turkey Tour is brought to you by Outdoor Channel, Camping World, Mossy Oak, Nomad Outdoor, the National Wild Turkey Federation, Box Trot Ammunition, and American Strutter. Thanks for watching. Cheerio.